Why am I saying this? Why does the title above actually say this? Because the only degree that Darwin ever got was a theology degree, and today people call him a great scientist. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just nice and nice and nifty as a name, but you know, he's not a scientist. Darwin was basically the greatest speculator of all time, and definitely the saddest man I've ever looked at, in fact. And people today try to call um, <laughs> Kent Hovind an idiot, wacko, liar, and stupid, and c just a comedian, so on and so forth, but I think he reaches the standards of a sci scientist for so long. I mean, he taught high school science for 15 years. In fact, the fact is, what if <laughs> you guys are just trying to demolish and trying to destroy all the, like, the foundations of science that have actually created the essence of all the scientific abilities and the scientific activities we can do today? And I'm not against science. I love science. I mean, this is a book that I took with me here on my trip. It was a book that I've ever read ever since elementary years called about science activities where all these cool scientific activities and cool science experiments that you can actually do at home and such with great fun illustrations and great descriptions and such. It's just a fun way of showing just how God's world works. And so, like, Isaac Newton was a, was a great scientist. He's actually my favorite scientist, but I was debating with some other guy on YouTube, and he says, oh, no, <laughs> Isaac Newton, he, he was terrible. He was not a scientist. What? Well, the books definitely say that he is a good scientist, and he figured out gravity for us. And Johannes Kepler and Sir Francis Bacon, oh, did you know that most branches of science were actually started by creationists? Tell me one thing that evolution has actually given us in scientific advancement, you know, because well, evolution theory, there's nothing. The, the theory is useless. It's depressing, it's fallacious, it's erroneous. It, it's not helping society at all. It's just making society dumber and just dumbing down a lot of people. And it's a reason why a lot of reasons why prayer is thrown out of schools and a lot of social ills act up, whether uh, crime, sex, and drugs, you know, is on a high rise and so on and so forth. But hey, Darwin would definitely not be a Darwinist today because I think a lot of his theories have been proven wrong and basically, if he was in a debate with Ken Hovind, he, was just, he would just lose like that. That's all I gotta say for this one video. I just wanted to make it plain and clear, and that's what I've been thinking this whole entire time. It's time to differentiate properly to who clearly is a scientist and who is clearly not a scientist.